Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can download the stickers that are available in my Etsy shop directly from Dropbox using only your iPad. Um, I just want to say that the number one way that I recommend to download these is using a computer. Um, I know it can be kind of a pain to use two different devices, but it's just so much easier to save all the files on your computer and then save it to your own Dropbox account or your iPad, I mean, excuse me, iCloud Drive. Um, it's just a lot easier and you can organize them the way that you wanna organize them. That's just how I prefer to do everything. But if you don't want to get on your computer or if you don't have a computer, you can still 100% get the files um, directly from Dropbox all on your iPad without having to even touch a computer. So once you pay for a sticker pack, you're gonna get a link to my Dropbox account to download the stickers. And when you click on that link, it's gonna bring you to a folder that looks somewhat like this. It might look a little bit different for you guys um, because I'm actually logged into my Dropbox account right now and I'm the one that uploaded these. And um, what you're gonna see when you click on that link though is a folder with all of these um, subfolders underneath it because I've divided the sticker sheets into days, months, numbers, punctuation, and words to make it easier to find what you want to find. So from here, if you wanted to download all of these um, to your iPad and then extract them in an app that unzips files, you can definitely do that. But the easiest way to do it and the way to guarantee that they'll have the transparent background they're supposed to have is to download the images from Dropbox individually as you need them. So I'd recommend just hanging on to that link that comes with your Etsy purchase and just going to my Dropbox account every time you want to download a set of stickers. Um, and so to download these, you would go to the folder that you want to download. So let's say you needed some numbers for your layout and um, you could click on whatever sheet you wanted to download. You could download all of these if you wanted to individually. Um, and I'm just gonna click on, let's just say this sheet right here. And now I'm gonna click on download. And now I'm just gonna hold down on this image for just a second. And then once I let go, this pops up where it says save image or copy. I'm gonna click on save image. And now this is saved to my camera roll. So that's how you would save it. I'm just gonna pull up my photo so you can see here it is in my camera roll. And um, if you wanted to do this and save all these images to your camera roll, you definitely can and you can organize them into albums. Um, there's really just a million different ways you can save these. And um, it does have the transparent background. So when you pull them up in good notes, um, you can just place them wherever you need to place them. Um, I did try to use an app called iZip, which I use for a lot of things, to download all of these files at once and save them to my camera roll. And for some reason, when I did that, it took away the transparent background. So normally that's the way that I would recommend to download them, but I don't for these images because it will, for some reason, put in a white background. Um, which there's a way, if you still prefer to do it that way, you can use an app called Magic Eraser to uh, remove the background and I'll link you to a video in the video description on how you can do that. But just the easiest way to keep the transparent background is just downloading the images as you need them. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can crop these images in GoodNotes. Okay, so I've got GoodNotes pulled up and now I wanna crop um, those stickers into my GoodNotes planner. So if you have a sticker book, you could crop them into your sticker book and then use them over and over again, which would probably be the easiest way to do it. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how to crop them really quick and place them. So I've got this document pulled up and now I want to crop one of my number images. So I'm just gonna go to the plus sign right here I'm gonna click on image and they're saved to my camera roll, so I'm gonna click on photos. And now I'm gonna pull up those images and you can see that it has a transparent background. So while it's still selected, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on crop. And I'm gonna do a freehand crop, which is already selected down here. For numbers, a rectangle crop would work, but 
for some of the words you might come across issues with a rectangle crop because I had to place some of them close together in order to get them all to fit on the sheet. Um, so that's why I'm going to just show you how to do a freehand crop. So make sure freehand is selected down here and then just whatever you want to select as a sticker, you just draw a shape around it. Um, I'm going to draw kind of a circle shape around this 16 right here. And now I'm going to select done. And now it's turned that into a sticker so I can move it and place it anywhere um, I want to. And now that's a sticker. And if you have a good note sticker book, that's why I recommend saving it in there. And then you can just come back to it and copy it over and over again. So that's how you crop it in good notes. Hey guys, so now I'm going to show you how you can use Procreate to edit the stickers that you purchased from my Etsy shop. Um, I highly recommend purchasing the black sticker pack to do this. It will work with the watercolor or foil or glitter pattern stickers, but it's just so much easier to change the color of the black stickers in Procreate. And you can add um, different textural layers and stuff like that, which is a tutorial that I will share with you guys later. Um, so in order to edit the stickers and crop the stickers in Procreate, you're gonna wanna upload them to Procreate first. So I have a set saved in my camera roll. And um, these are the black stickers. So here they are in Procreate. Um, and as you can see, like when I turn off the background color, they have that transparent background. So let's say I wanted to crop the word priorities in this font right here. I want to get my, I believe this is called the selection tool. It looks kind of like a ribbon and I wanna make sure freehand is selected down here. And now I'm just gonna draw kind of a weird shape around priorities. And now I'm just gonna swipe down with three fingers and select copy. And now I'm gonna hide this layer number one and I'm gonna create a new layer. And I'm gonna, again, swipe down with three, oh, sorry, click on your layer, then swipe down with three fingers and select paste. And there's just that word on its own. So now let's say you want to change the color of this sticker to match your planner or your layout for the week. Um, you wanna make sure it's deselected by just clicking that little um, arrow icon right there and select whatever color you wanna change it to. Let's change it to purple and then just drag this dot down to the black areas and it'll change everything that's connected, but see these dots aren't connected. So I'm gonna recolor those dots individually and just do that as many times as you need to. Um, if it's not a script font and the letters are separate, you'll have to do it for each letter. Um, so I've got that saved. And now in order to save this as its own sticker and bring it back into GoodNotes, I wanna make sure it also has a transparent background. So I'm gonna turn off the background color. Actually, um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn off the background color and now I'm gonna save this uh, to my camera roll. So you wanna click that wrench tool and then make sure share is selected. Mine was already selected, yours might not be. So just make sure share is selected. And then it's very important that you save it as a PNG so it saves that transparent background. And now I'm gonna click on save image. And that saved it to my camera roll. So now I'm gonna go back into GoodNotes. And I would recommend saving it to your sticker book, but I just pulled up my planner just to show you how to import it and crop it. Um, so now I'm gonna select this plus sign, now that I'm in GoodNotes, and I'm gonna select image. I'm gonna select photos. I'm gonna go to all photos and um, it looks like it has a black background, but that's just because it's a transparent background, um, but I know it's my most recent photo. And it saved the whole sheet size. So now I wanna crop this in GoodNotes. So just like I did before, um, I'm gonna click on the image, select crop, and a rectangle crop will, will work for this uh, sticker. So I'm just gonna do that um, for this. I'm gonna bring it as close as I can to make the sticker size a little smaller. select done and there's my sticker and now I can resize it and I could put this you know under a day or 
I could really build my own um, layout if I wanted to with these stickers. But um, anyway, there it is. And that's all. Uh, feel free to contact me on Etsy or on my website if you have any questions at all about this. And I'm happy to help. Thanks.